Fish on, fish on, fish on. Look at the noodle rod. Big waves are smashing over here. I gotta get out of here. Ah, you boy. What is going on, my doggies? Welcome back to another video. Hey. We're about to go and give the noodle rod a flogging. We are in a very, very remote part of the world right now. If you guys look down here, we are standing on the edge of a sheer cliff. What I want to do is I want to scale down this cliff, get down there. We're going to put the noodle rod to the work today. Let's see if we can get a couple of fish on the deck. Oh, this is not good. I've got about three or four bees hanging around me right now. There's obviously a beehive in here somewhere. There's bees buzzing around me bloody head right now. That's not a good sign. I want to get out of here as soon as I can. We're just scaling down the cliff right now. Trying to get down to the bottom. Oh, there's a beehive here somewhere. All right, before we do anything on this fishing mission, there's one thing that I'm going to do. I'm going to energize my body. I am going to fill myself up like you would not believe. Down here, a little bottle of Tabasco sauce. If you guys know, you know. We're gonna go fill up with some seriously good food. Ah, you bastard. Just got me, didn't ya? All right, there's that bloody bee that we were talking about. I just got stung by it. There it is there. I just flicked him into the water. That's going to be itchy, eh? Anyway, a little bit of a feed down here. Delicious. Very slippery rocks. Let's see if we can get a fish on the deck. Hey! Whoo! Fish on, fish on, fish on. Look at the noodle rod. <laughs> we got a fish on here. We have got a fish on. It's about the 10th cast of the day. We've got a fish. Now this is the hectic spot. There's waves coming. Very, very, very sharp barnacles on the reef here. Come on, buddy. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, it's a tailor. It's the targeted species that zipped him up. Noodle rod. Oh. And look at that. The hook just pulled out. Look at that. Beautiful tailor. That's about 40 centimeters long. He's a keeper. That thing is gonna be food, man. Ha! Ha! Stop! That's fish. That thing just smoked this lure, dude. All right, we're gonna keep this thing up. Keep him up, keep him up, keep him up. There's a big ledge. He's trying to get under that ledge. Oh, come on, come on. This one's a bit bigger. One, two, three, up the noodle rod, up the noodle rod, bang. Don't you love it when a plan comes together? That there is a lot bigger than the first one. He's a bloody good fish. He's gonna be a good chewer. All right, the noodle rod, this is a one to four pound fishing rod, right? Like super, super extra light. You shouldn't be fishing it out here. We're getting beautiful fish like this. Oi, that's a bloody good fish, doggies. We've got a couple of fish on the deck right now. I've got two fish that I've seen with you guys. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna very quickly put the camera away, have a couple more flicks, see if we can get some bait for another video. Check this out. Boom! That's how many fish we got now. We caught two. As soon as we got here, I've been fishing for about another five minutes. We just caught another three. So these three fish here are gonna be used for fishing bait in another video. These two down here, or even just one. That thing there is a bloody beautiful feed. Look at that. Big, juicy tailor. I've bled them, they're gonna be delicious to eat. Fresh fish is always amazing. So that's what we got right now. We've got five fish on the deck, looking good. What I'm gonna do right now is, see if I can get up this bloody rock here. Ah, I'm gonna climb all the way back up to the top of that cliff. We're gonna put the noodle rod back in the troopy. I'm gonna go get a couple of other tools out of the troopy. We're gonna come back down. We're gonna see if we can catch ourselves a lobster to chuck around the fire because that was just too easy. Whose idea was it to climb back up a hill with a bag full of fish? What a dumb idea. 
I put the fish in the back of the car. They're in the fridge. They're going to be fresh. They're going to be bloody beautiful. What we've got here, we've got a cray snare or a cray loop. We're going to crawl our way back down this cliff. We're going to see if we can get a crayfish or a lobster on the deck. But we're not going to go in the ocean. We're going to be looking in them little rock pools. Oi! Here we go. This is the game plan. See this little pond of water behind me here? I have physically seen with my own eyes crayfish in these once upon a time. It doesn't mean they're going to be in there now, but I have seen them in there before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump in. I'm going to put a mask and snorkel on. I'm going to put a set of gloves on. We're going to jump in. Let's see if we can get a lobster out of one of these rock pools. Here we go, doggies. We're also going to be jumping in fully clothed. So I've got, I've got boots, shorts, shirts, shirts buttoned up and gloves because in these rock pools, they're full of urchins. They're full of like crazy bits of coral, which burn your skin. So ideally what I want to do is I want to put my hand into a hole and pull a crayfish out. I'm going to leave the cray loop over there for now. I don't want to use it if we don't have to. So uh, let's jump in and have a look what it looks like in the underwater world. Here we go. We're going in. See you in the water. Let's go! Let's go! Oh, damn! Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, damn, 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 damn! You've got to be kidding me right now. The very, very first rock pool we've jumped into, two crayfish sitting under one rock within... I haven't even been in this rock pool for 25 seconds. We've seen two lobster already. You're kidding. Look where I am right now, dude. This isn't meant to happen. <laughs> Fully clothed in a rock pool. All right, the crayfish that are in there, they've gone right under and they're hiding under this rock. I can't actually reach them right now. So what we'll do is... We'll walk out of this hole and we'll just jump into the next one and we'll keep doing it the whole way down the coast That's a ridiculously good sign dude. I've seen two crayfish already. I'm so happy
You actually have no idea how stoked I am right now. We just got ourselves a rock lobster. Look at him, he's just gone size. I just measured him up on the scales in the bag there and he's just gone size. That is dinner. Boy, I'm absolutely peeking out right now. We did it. Are you kidding me? Out of a little rock hole just over there. We just got that thing out of it. That's ridiculous. We got one just here. He's in a perfect hole, he's gonna be very hard to catch. That's a good one, look! No. This is absolutely unbelievable, man. I found a bloody torch, which, by the way, completely works. That is unbelievable. Down here in this hole, you would have just seen that crayfish. I'm lighting them up with the torch. <laughs> Boy, this is that good. I'm gonna leave the camera rolling. We'll go down there, we'll have a look at that crayfish. Ready, check this out. Look at this, I'm in a pool of water here. Check this out, ready? Ready, set, let's go. Ah, oh, we gotta be super careful in here right now because there's big waves that are breaking over that rock right there. So this, this all turns into white water, so I'm just gonna jump in, have a quick look and get out before we get sucked down to the ocean, but uh, hopefully we can find another one in here. Big waves are smashing over here. Not good. so hard man there's a big current that's ripping through here right now there's a crayfish right here i cannot get it for the life of me 
Get out of here. Yeah. Hey, we're alive. I'm still alive, my doggies. All right, that was a bloody fun little thing I just did then. It got super hectic in the end. I was sitting out there without white water is there and I was getting smashed. <clears throat> Excuse me. We lost one crayfish just purely because the current is surging in and out so much. The barnacles are razor sharp. I have got slices all over my legs, man. I've got little bleeding holes everywhere. We've got a bee sting down here. I've got sliced up legs. Hectic. That's why I wore my shoes and shirt in the water. But this is how we're looking right now. We found a bloody torch. It's got barnacles growing all over it. But look at this. It actually works, man. Oh, look at those lines. It's so sick. We found a working torch. We also got this big dog here. So I'm gonna put him to sleep now, but that's a, that's not a bloody bad crayfish coming out of holes like that. You can see that he's not a, he's not a female. It's not tar spot, so we can eat this one. She goes size. It's a bloody good, that's a good feeder. So I'm gonna be eating that one. But we got one absolute slob of a crayfish out there. You would have seen it. My whole hand was like around its shell. Like it was a proper bloody, that was a good sized crayfish. The problem is it's had tar spots. So what a tar spot is, you have seen that black dot on its belly there? That means it's a female. Then if you went down the back of the crayfish, you would have seen that big orange sack of eggs. So that crayfish was full of eggs. Unfortunately, I had to let her go. Well, it's a bloody good thing I let her go because she's going to reproduce 100,000 more crayfish, but that thing was big, dude. My hand was around its shell like that, like it was a proper slob. Anyway, we got one crayfish, we got a couple of fish to cook up, so I'm stoked, man. Absolutely frothed out right now. Look at where we are. Living the dream. All right, that's it. The hike back up the mountain is about to begin. I'm gonna go back up to the troopy. I've got no cooking gear in my bag right now, so I don't know if we're gonna have a feed up the top there or if we're gonna have a feed down here on the rocks but either way we're having a bloody feed i'm so hungry obviously haven't eaten anything all day Ugh. boom we're back up at the car we're nice and dry and we have got some of the best food on planet Earth to cook up right now. Also to go with the food, we've probably got one of the best views on planet Earth right now. Have a go at this, would you? Wrap your eyes around this. Troop dog, about to get a flogging with a cooking kitchen. Look at that view. Just down there, we were swimming, catching crayfish in holes. Now we're up here. How bloody good is that? Now a crayfish like this has to be 76 mil from the inside of the horn to the back of the shell. I'm just gonna measure this on camera because there's always a cowboy out there who says, it's not size. So we're gonna go from the top of the head there to the back of the carapace and you can see we've got about four or five mil to play with there. So that is a size crayfish. Suck it up, key keyboard warriors, hit size. Let's cook this bad boy up. First thing we're gonna do fire up the gas cooker bang 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 all right we got a little bit of heat frying pan going straight on top crayfish on the chopping board crayfish is asleep what we're gonna do is knife right there bang cut down the back make sure it's all the way through spin the little sucker around bang him bang him Half a crayfish, bang, bang. What we're gonna wanna do is, we're gonna wash them guts out. Unfortunately, stupid field day, forgot to bring some salt water up. I hate putting anything from the ocean in fresh water, I never do it, but today, we're just gonna have to clean this out with a little bit of fresh water. All 
we're just gonna chuck butter bang chuck another one in the head there we're not gonna be shy with the butter because the butter makes it bloody beautiful so we're just gonna lay the butter on just like this we're not gonna be scared all right crayfish is buttered up next we're going back with the tabasco just a little little dance of tabasco on each side like that oh man stop it last but not least we're going we're going super simple but super delicious out here a little bit of himalayan rock salt i'll give that a good flogging like that that's enough and that is it beautiful fresh crayfish a little bit of butter a little bit of spice a little bit of salt here we go we're gonna go to war again if you guys remember a couple of episodes ago i was about to lose my shit with this stuff this is alfoil it's very annoying i don't like using it i use it probably once a year for some reason i'm using it again i hate using this stuff but you guys actually told me a tip or a trick and i had no idea that this even existed on the end of glad uh, alfoil this annoying stuff there's little buttons on the end you push them in like that and you push them in like that like that and it stops the bloody thing from rolling out are you kidding all right to all the people that wrote me messages on instagram instagram links there if you guys want to go and follow all those people who hit me up and told me about this little trick unbelievable i had no idea anyway what we're going to do is we're going to get our alfoil here we go i told you it doesn't anyway thanks for telling me but it obviously doesn't work because it just fell out anyway what we're going to do is we're going to cover up the top of the uh the top of the frying pan with foil turning it into a little bit of an oven ah it's hot man just like that there we go that's going to turn into an oven it's going to let that butter juice up and froth up and it's going to be absolutely bloody beautiful eight to ten minutes i'm going to come and check it That looks naughty. That is, see how the liquid's bubbling inside the shell? Yum, dude. All right, they're nearly done. I'll give him another, maybe another minute. Oh no, here we go. The shit show starts with our foil again. Ha ah! All right, you just stay there. They look good. Oh, here we go. Not even gonna bother. Not even gonna bother with it. They're nearly done. You know what we'll do actually? Just to finish it off, we'll give him a sear on that side. Give him a sear on that, oh, that side. Bang, now it's gonna be done. Look at this. Delicious. Look at this big chunk, lobster meat. Right, look at the kitchen, look at the views. We just caught this thing in a tiny little rock pool. Oi, life's good, eh? Those five fish that we've got, they get in the freezer right now. I actually put them into the freezer now. So what we're gonna do with those fish, we're gonna turn them fish into a big, dirty other fish, a way bigger fish. We're gonna upgrade them fish. So um, 
stay tuned for that video. When you see them bits of bait come out of the freezer, you guys know where they came from. Look, that's it from me. I'm gonna sit here and smash this delicious, check this out, white, juicy, tight, kind of, kind of peppery from that Tabasco, a little bit of butter, a little bit of salt, delicious crayfish. Look, thank you so much for watching. If you guys like these videos, make sure you bang that subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, thank you. I bloody love you. And guess what? I'll see you next week in the next mission. That was heaps of fun. Thank you so much for watching. I'm eating good once again. Peace, doggies. Much love. So. Hi. I've just been scaling down the cliff, talking to a camera which wasn't even on. We keep fishing, chuck him in the backpack. Wait! Other fishing bits equipped a bit of. Hello, we did a bit of a bit speed English. Ah, this camera angle is shit. Oh, I've got a rock in my ass right now. Come on, stay there. F you, camera. Oh, Russ, this camera just doesn't want to stay there. Like, what's its, what's its beef right now? Did honestly think with all the technology in the world right now, they'd make a better system than that. Like, come on. Elon Musk is putting bloody satellites in the sky. I can get phone service and internet just about anywhere in Australia now. He's making a little truck which looks very similar to this, but we're still dealing with shit like this. You've got to be kidding me. Never again! Oh, well, you wouldn't believe it. I've just finished off the video and that, that bee's come back. There's another bee here right now. And it is going like proper ham on me. Oh! Look at this bee, dude! Oh, you f get off me! I'm getting, I'm getting bloody punched up by a bee right now. <laughs> no shit! Look at this thing, bro! F off! <laughs>